morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday, uh, the 11th of the month of May, 2022. Without further ado, this is going to be a short one. I don't know, maybe a long one. I don't know. Whatever, praise the Lord. I'm just moved to come amen, in your presence right now, representing God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Amen. 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 Agency in which God created to what? To work through, to bring man back to himself. Amen. Okay, now. Uh, uh, today and for the last several years, four that I know of, and it might go all the way back then. I, you know. Anyway, uh, I've been, I've been, I've been, well, not I, but I believe God has given me a message. You know, His message, not my message. His ministry, not my ministry. Amen. I'm. It's, it's just fortunate to be a part of God. Amen. God made us. Workers, amen. Uh, workers with him, see, and that is an honor, amen. So, saying that right there, God has blessed me to be able to come forth and say some things to the human family, amen. That will, that will, that will slow us down and make us to think of what's going on around us. It's make us to think. You know, where we want to spend eternity. Because we are not going to live forever down here on this planet Earth. See? See? Unless Jesus come before. And then everything else kick in. But when that happens, we want to be ready. When he comes. What I mean by ready? We want to have taken the opportunity that God presented to every man, woman, boy, and girl. See? To have eternal life. Amen. And we have to acquire that and make sure it is sealed, sealed by the power of God. See? See? So we will be like him when he comes. And we have that time to do this now, in this day and time, as long as we have the breath of life within our body. See? We have to do it now. Like I've been telling the, uh, the brothers and sisters, you know. Now, I'm, I'm going to be focusing on, on my group, my ethnicity. See? See? Group means ethnos, my group. What I mean by my group? One that looked like me, same color that I have. You know, splits, it verbs, pronouns, <laughs> you know, and so on and so on, like me. <laughs> You know what I mean? See, because I believe nobody can understand the darker skinned group, you know, more than one that is of that group. And I be of that group. Thanks be to God. And why not? Did not it say that Jesus came into his own and they received him not? See? Now with God having two natures, See? See? That the mind was in the flesh. So he had a fleshly nature. And being divine, he had a what? A spiritual nature. See? See? And it said that he came unto his own. See? Now, we are blind to the knowledge and teaching of Almighty God. Then God would have to set something like a foreshadow. It's not the real thing, see, but it represents to a degree the real thing. See, the foreshadow. See, I stand here and I have a shadow down there, but that shadow is not the real me. I'm the real me. That shadow is just a foreshadow of me, but it's not the real me. So when it said that Jesus came unto his own, see, see, I take it 
both ways. Physically, he came into his own, yes. And he would consider what? Physically what? Of the lineage of what? Uh, Jewish, Hebrew. Hmm? But he also came well in the spirit divine. And he came unto whom? Those that were supposed to have known about God's what? Divinity. Or his word, his teaching. From the early writings of Moses, when, Moses, when God told Moses to put these things in a book. Potches. Write them. Moses, when he got a stride, that's what stride do, does, is like a lawyer. He makes up, he writes contracts, he writes all this down to preserve what? To preserve it, to keep it. So, Moses, so God told Moses to put these things in the book. So those that were supposed to be divine, and you can only be divine by the power and the word of Almighty God. So Jesus came what? He came in the foreshadow. And for those that have listened, listened to his prophets and teachers of old, that are supposed to have known the word of God, he came to them, what? In his divinity. See? In other words, in spirit. And he said, my words, my teachers, my doctrines, they are spirit and life. So they were supposed to have known what? The word. They were supposed to have what? Huh? Had grown into spirituality of the knowledge of Almighty God. See? But it said what? They rejected him. See? Now, not all rejected him in the spirit. And that all rejected him even in what? Physical. There's always going to be someone that will hear, listen, and be touched by the power of God. Because what God gives them, it stops them in their tracks. And it makes them start thinking and wondering, what? Who is this guy here that speaks with the authority? Like he knows what he's talking about. And they will believe him. So that's what was going on when Jesus came into his own and they said that his own received him not. See, the majority that did not receive Jesus were those who were supposed to have known what? The will of God. They were working by works, by the letter. They tried on their own to keep this and keep that and don't do this and don't do that. Had nothing to do with their spirituality, spiritual part, and maintaining and, 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 and harnessing that. And keeping that under what? Under the power of Almighty God that it may do that which is supposed to be uh, right in the sight of God. So Jesus came into his own. So I'm here coming to my own. Not that I uh, exclude anyone else. No. Because I, 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 this is my group. I'm coming to you. If I, if I can allow the God to, to jog the black man, the black woman, the black church mindset by the power of Almighty God. Let's get them to think. Even while they see what? The foreshadowing. Not the real thing. But get them to start what? Thinking. And, and just so it happened, for the last several years, I don't know why, but God has been using me, not that I'm special than anybody else, no. I done said some things that were wrong. I done said some things that was questionable. You know what I mean? But I can tell when I look at what God has brought me in his word, I can tell that God been teaching me. I, I've been picking up on some things. And I, I'm not boasting, but I'm just saying when I look at what I used to be, what I used to say, how I used to hang around this, that, and the other that was not of God. And now I'm all about, hey, with a desire to do what God has to do, I mean, command me to do. You see what I'm saying? And even at, at times, I get disobedient as well, but I always got the power of God to shake me, rattle me. It's not the way. It's God's way. Let's go God's way. Okay, so I'm just throwing this out at you. 
You know what I mean? So you understand that, that I'm going through perfection. Being perfected by the word of God. See? Being perfected. You see what, see what I'm saying? See? By the word of God. I don't pass perfect. I don't pass perfect. You know what perfect is? Perfect when you come back to your creator when now while you were two, where, where there was two, your creator and you, see, you don't come back with your creator and that make you what? Complete now. You as one. See that, see that right there? As one. See, when we sin, it was two. See, we left God. We left, see? See? So the first thing you have to do is to be what? Perfect. And perfect is, like in the dictionary, complete. Without God, we're incomplete. With God, we're perfect now. In the sense of what? Huh? That we are back one with God. Now we're going through what? Perfection. That's the real ball. That's the real. See, nobody want to say that. They want to lean on perfect with their understanding. They think they understand. And they want to use it as a crutch. Well, it ain't perfect. Ain't number one perfect. No, I didn't say it. Perfect means complete. Now, I can understand if you can say, I'm not complete because I'm not back with my creator. I can understand that. But in order to become what you're talking about, being perfect, you got to not only come back to your creator, that's perfect. And then when you get there, it's a prelude. It's, it's going to, it's a, it's a setup, prelude to what? Perfection. See? And what it is, tell it like it is, you just don't want to be perfected. Why? Because you're going to have to stop eating your chocolate cake and your ice cream and having it at Burger King your way. And that's going to become what? God's way. See? God got a lot to do with you now. When does it stop? It don't stop. It just keep on and on and on and on until you get that one of them, them disciples, them prophets, the old and stuff. See, that every time you get up, every time you breathe, you call, you call <coughs> Jesus. Every time you sneeze, you call, you, call, you, you sneeze Jesus. Everything you do and say, it's Jesus. <laughs> Maybe not by word, but guess what? In your lifestyle, people are observing Jesus in you. So when Jesus came into his own, he came into his own what? To get the, his own right first. Because they had the what? The article. They had the principles of some kind of knowledge of God Almighty. He said, I got to go and get my house right first. If I get my house right, then guess what? When I'm going to send them throughout all the world, guess what? Then they will be able to what? Understand why they're out there and what they need to do to what? To help get other folks right. Can you understand that? So I come to my group here, huh? my group, to encourage your heart. See? Several years ago, I was talking this about this right. Just a few years ago, the Lord had me to tell you, you know, what, they were, what we were going through with, with, with the, uh, the ideology and the philosophy of these leaders here. What I was telling you, I said, God is going to, I said, God is going to what? Shut it down. Did he not shut it down? But everybody running like what? Ain't nothing happened. You see? And they trying to raise their ugly head up again. You see what I'm saying? It's not going to work. We on a course. We're on a collision course with destruction. And ain't nothing we can do about it. That destruction. Ain't nothing we can do about it. But what we can do, see, well, I don't say ain't nothing, because there's always something when you're in God. Let me, let, me, let me phrase that like that. The only thing that we can do you see, because the destruction is going to come. You can't stop. It's going to come. But the only thing we can do is allow God to prepare us for the life after this. See? And it got to be done down here now while we're in this physical form. We have to allow God to get our spirit right. What am I talking about that spirit? What is that, what is that spirit? Jesus said, don't get mad. My word is spirit. In John, I think in chapter 6 or 50, verse 52, is up in that area there, or 19, something like that. I know it's in the book of St. John. 
He said, eat my, what, flesh. Drink my, what, blood. See? For my flesh is what? Life. Huh? My blood is what? Water. Then he said on, in another path, he said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit. So when we, when I say that we have to allow God to prepare our spirit, it's the words in us that is not of God. This ideology, this way of our thinking is not of God. We have to be prepared. We have to allow God to get all that stuff up out of us and, 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 and relearn the goodness and the power of Almighty God. Paul said, one of the most astute apostles, or, 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 or yeah, apostles that came up, that Jesus taught, bought, bought up, raised in his word. Paul said what? Paul said, I throw away what? My PhD. I throw away all of my prominent uh, things that I, that I received from man. You know what I mean? See? He said, I throw away all of that because that don't have nothing to do with Jesus. I throw away all of that because I know Jesus now. He had prepared me and therefore, what? I throw it all away and I what? I'm on Jesus' side now. I'm absorbing Jesus. I'm being prepared by the word, this word of Jesus here now. So all the other words and stuff they have, if they ain't of God, if they ain't of the goodness of God, you got to get that stuff out of you. And only God can help you get that stuff out of you. All he asks is for you what? You're okay. Is it okay, Robert? Yes, sir, it's okay. It's going to be hard, Robert. I know, Lord. Don't tell me about it. Just go ahead and start doing it, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So that's what we're talking about this morning. I haven't even got to the message that I believe God gave given me. So here, I'll be back here now for a circle. Well, going to my own. Because if I know I get you right, See, we got a legacy. Not that anybody else does not have no legacy. But being black, dark skinned, huh? Descending from Africa, out there, out there, Sahara Delta, where man and woman, huh? Started a human family, huh? The melody in us, the sun hit that little bit of melody in us. We had a lot of melody, and therefore, what? Color of our skin. That's what makes you red, yellow, what? The melody is a little brownish thing. I do a little study. Hey, Pastor, uh, 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 I don't you think I'm so smart. No, Pastor, uh, 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 I can't think of the name, Price. I studied that thing over and over and over and over again. I got it, I got it, I learned it. See, most people don't know why they got this color of their skin. It's a little brown melody in your cell that when the sunlight hit it, what it does, what it determines what? How much melody you get, whether you get dark, dark, or white, white, light, light, or yellow, all these mm -hmm. different kinds of colors. Ain't about five major colors in this earth realm. Red, yellow, black, white, and what? Brown. That's it. And everything in between. That, that's it. Five million. That if you're dealing with colors and all this stuff right here, which most of you are. See? So that's why I say, I'm coming to my own now. Because some, that's the way some of you think. See? Not that I don't love no one else. I'm not trying to give it to anybody else. No. I'm coming to my own now because I want my own to get this right here. See, because believe it or not, the dark-skinned people are more persuasive. <laughs> I mean, they just is, man. You know, they in it, they, I know of, personally, I. Any other ethnic group on the planet. See? There's something about certain people, whether they're black, white, red, whatever, they got that leader in them. In their spirit. And we all have it, but some more than others. See? See? Most of why the other groups don't want to hang around the back because the backs are so what? They're so, they're, they're so domineer. See? And see, and I, and I can't just stay right there because they are also domineer in their own rights. The red, the yellow, the brown, and the you know, on and on and on. See, 
But today I'm moved to come to you all because I want you to know that what time it is, we need to what? We need to allow God to prepare ourselves so we can start what? Acting better. That means everybody. But I'm talking about my, my own. Acting better. We need to get in this book and start reading for ourselves to find out what God is saying about me, for me, huh? to me, at me, however you want to take it. So I can be a better person. Because if I were to lead anybody, I want to lead them in the right direction. You see what I'm saying? And it behooves all of us to go back to Bible, go back to the Holy Scripture that was handed down from Moses' time, on down the hill. See? And they try to change it, they try to distort it, whatever, but guess what? They can't hurt God with it. Because if you look in that word, you look in that word of God, they don't, they don't speak about no particular special group. But the righteous will see God. Huh? Be holy for I am holy. The holy people of God. And the wicked people. That's what it talks about. You see. Now, now, let's get to the meat of the matter. Now, if y'all been keeping up with news, I, I, I like to keep up with the news. Sometimes I keep up with it too much. You know, but I listen to all the news from all over, everywhere. Even within this area here. And, and I, I just like to keep, keep up with the news. See, but I also don't allow, the, I don't want or allow the news to take over president of, excuse me, of, excuse me, of God's word here. Because this, this is my news right here. This is showing up my news right here. You know what I mean? No. So in doing so, I'm here to, to tell you, I see, I see the handwriting on the wall. I've been seeing it for several years. I've been telling everybody. You know what I mean? You need to allow God to start preparing you. And the only way God can do that is by you what, accepting to spend some time with him in his word. Not to go and say, I read this, I read this, I know this. No, no. You got to become a doer rather than a hearer. You got, you got to allow God to mirror himself in you. You have to have a relationship with God. You see what I'm saying? Now, 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 you can see what's going on here now. God bless us to come through an era of the Trump being president two years ago. I told you. Well, I believe God impressed upon me to tell you. Put it that there, right there. You know what I mean? And we thought the nation wasn't going to be better, president. We find that out because. You can see what's going on. Now I'm not here to bash anybody, tell anybody this, that, and no. I'm here to allow us to turn our face to, to God and do it in a hurry. Because it's upon us. It is upon us. What is upon us? Huh? Huh? You remember how Babylon failed in the natural? Huh? The kingdom of the earth? You remember how, uh, 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 what is uh, the Babylon? Uh, I think it was Babylon, the Medes, and the Persian. Uh, uh, one was a little bit more strong than the other, but they were they were of the same, you know. And then you got Greece. You remember Greece? It was the third kingdom. Everybody thought Rome was going to live forever. Rule forever. Rome ruled over 400 some years, I believe. See? Bees and Persia, I think they ruled about over 200 some years. They got it written down over here in the book somewhere. See? And Greece. And then the last kingdom is Rome. The Roman Empire. Rooted then no one You see? 
And when they fell, when they became no more, you see, they broke into what? What we have today, these small kingdoms and these large kingdoms. Some strong, some not. And they've been trying to put this, to the world order and all that, they've been trying to put this together another time. I mean, I mean, all, 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 all the time as being what? Huh? One kingdom that ruled the earth. That's what you got going on here now. Uh, that's what you got going on here now. See? America could not break the law of God. God pretty much said there were four kingdoms that ruled and did no earth. He said after that, no more. It ain't going to be another one monarch ruler of what? Of planet Earth. But Jesus Christ. Hitler tried it. Remember World War I? World War II? Hitler tried it. But what happened? No more. You see? America trying it. That's what all this stuff about. They're losing their grip of the system that they made within a system. System. To control, to manipulate, and to rule. And to say they did what? The king. And God is bringing them down in the natural what? To their knees. We haven't seen anything yet. It's not only America. See? You remember I told you about that hope that infected the minds and hearts of the inhabitants of the earth? The kings? The seven what? Kings? Nation, ten crowns. Huh? What you think going on? This prophecy being fulfilled, open what in our day and time? So I'm trying to explain to my group that hey, you can't stop this. You can put all the blinders on you want. You can stick your head in the sand all you want. This stuff going to go on without you or with you. Come on. The knowledge they up. So I'm here to tell you to get yourself prepared. You see what I'm saying? Stop going to these jive time churches that ain't saying about pie and sky. And you want to sit up there all day long. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And you don't know nothing about this word here. You can't point nobody to the kingdom of God. Not all of you. <laughs> but if the shoe fit, come on. Huh? So that's what we see here. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hold on to that power. Trying to hold on to that power. Like God is a liar. God said, fold. No, 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 no. He said, everything that come out the room, he said, what? They're going to be small power, large power. That's their reason for what? Creating what? A system called NATO. The European. See? See? There's some good in all of us. But the thing is, is what? If the good in you, then you ought to practice it and do it. If you tell somebody else, then you ought to be able to be, be able to do it yourself. They got good stuff over there in the, in the, EU, the EU uh uh doctrine. Huh? But if you unsay, you just uh say me, a leper cannot change the stripes. Huh? No more that I can change the color of my skin. I can try all I want. I can paint myself white. I'm still black. <laughs> Come on now. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked by the enemy of God. And the devil is behind all of this. Read the Bible. It's in there. You should always say, I want to know. I want to know. No, you don't want to know nothing about this. Because if you start knowing something about this, you will have to get rid of what? All of this. And what is it? All of this, that trash that man have been propagate, uh, propagating throughout the earth, see, under the spell and the power of Satan, the fallen angel, known as the devil, Satan. See? So what we got going on here now? Food going up. All that's going on. I've been telling you for several years, get all the water you can, get all the canned foods you can. You see what I'm saying? 
And you probably say, well, if I get all that, that ain't gonna help me out. Mm -hmm. I mean, if God gonna destroy, he gonna destroy, yeah, but it ain't no harm in preparing yourself even for one day if you have to do that. Look at the logic of it. See? Whatever you can and whatever you get, prepare yourself. See, we don't lack preparation for nothing. Even sometimes when I do the message and everything, I know I don't, I, I, sometimes I, I used to be like this. I wouldn't sit down and prepare myself. I, you know what I mean? I don't want to strip nothing out. Sometimes you got to strip, you know, something out. You got to strip it, your message. So you have a con continued flow of, of flowing of, uh, of knowledge. See? But thank God, I, thank God he had blessed me to come to the point now where I have learned and read so much and I'm continuing to do it. So I can stand up here and I know the scripture, it's in here. I might can't tell you the, the chapter or the verse, and sometimes I can't tell you where it's at, you know what I mean? But it's here. And I know when I speak it, I know you know it's from God. I ain't gotta worry about that. No, you know it from God, it's from the word. So what we have doing, what we got going on here? Well, you remember the prophet Elijah? The prophet Elijah? He came up on this woman and she had a son. Huh? And Elijah told her to go and fix him something to eat because he was hungry. Hmm? And the woman said, well, she didn't have nothing but a little oil, a little cornmeal, something like that. And Elijah said, go ahead and fix me something. And guess what? She went in there and fixed with what she had. But at least she had something to get started. Huh? And if you keep reading, you'll find out what? That little oil and cornmeal, blessed by the power of God through the prophecy of the prophet Elijah, it lasted one woman, what? I think it was three some years. That same little oil never ran out. That meal never ran out. So whatever you put to the side to prepare yourself, you don't know how God is going to work. You don't know what God is going to do. He may allow them to shoot what? Nuclear bomb. He may allow them to go to war and, and destroy and whatever. What. You don't know. But if you never prepare yourself, you got to prepare yourself. So go out, get, go out and get all the water you can right now. Go out and get what? All that canned food and stuff you want. Go out and get you some gas, gas cans. You know what I mean? That, 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 that is uh, proven to be safe by the law of the land. Huh? Get you about two of them five big gallons and things and put it in your shed or whatever. You know, make sure it's secure and everything. The prices continue to go up. Uh, 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 I'm telling you. So at least you had that stuff off your mind. And when it run out, don't worry about it, it just run out. You don't know. God can touch it, man, and you just keep putting that gas, putting that gas, putting that gas. Five years going by, same gas, putting that gas. <laughs> if you place it itself. You don't know how God, you never know if you don't look in the book and find out what God has done on something. I'm trying to encourage you black man and black woman. Get your life right. Prepare yourself. This is not the end once you go in the grave. There's a death worse than the grave, God see. See? God said what? All the false, the false prophets, the false teachers. Listen to me. Huh? The devil, angel, which is demons. Even the devil himself. Lucifer, fallen angel, Satan, will be cast, boom, in what? The lake of fire. And guess what? Not only them, but all the ones that listen to them. You go right along with them. But over here you see paradise. You hear about a, a kingdom where the streets are what? Gold! I ain't talking about pay with gold. That ain't in the Bible. Pay with gold. That's a, that's a lie. Come on, man. You need to read your Bible. Where the streets are made with gold, not paid with gold. Ain't nothing 
Ain't nothing uh, phony or fake about God. God is pure, pure, real, genuine. Well, Mama, he ain't wrong. I, 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 it's in there. Cause we sing a, a song. I say, as what the streets are pay with go. But go find it. Tell mom and daddy, go find it. Go find it. So, getting back to what I'm getting back to. The streets is going to run red with blood. See? See? Getting back to what I believe that God has given me some years ago. I never thought about this. You see what I'm saying? See? Getting back to that. And a lot of you going to say, well, probably want to cuss me to my face. But I'm going to tell you, this, this country of sin has come up before God. And they stand in the balance huh, to be weighed. And they are found to be sh short. They come up short. Huh? Sodom and Gomorrah, the angel came that way. On their way. Abraham said what? Abraham said what? Lord, if that be 50. Lord, maybe if that be 40. Ah. Lord, maybe, I speak too fast, maybe if that be 30, Lord. Lord, maybe, maybe 20. Huh? If there be 20 righteous, you won't destroy the city. Huh? And at that time, Solomon Gomorrah was pretty proper. Uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, uh, had a lot of people in it. Popular stuff, I think. There be a lot of people in there. They even say, Lord, let me speak one more time. If there be maybe 10, Lord said, if there be 10, he couldn't find none in them. Hmm? He couldn't find none. He ain't found but one. And he was on borderline, locked. His wife turned around and looked back. His two daughters that were with him. They probably had, had the teachings, you know what I mean? But when they got to the hill, they drunk, made their father drunk and, 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 and committed uh, 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 incest with him without his knowing. See? A lot of dragging his feet, didn't want to go. Uh, with, you, know, you know, for whatever reason, he was just dragging his feet. They didn't have to take them by the hand. They couldn't find. He couldn't find. God couldn't find too. So this country and all countries, especially this country, because they're supposed to be what? The leader of the world. God blessed them. This country ain't old. This country about at least two or three hundred years old, if, if anything. See? Too much is given, much is required. But they've been changing for the last whatever. They've been changing, changing, changing. You see what I'm saying? And this tree here, this country, this tree here, it bring forth what? Fruits that is not fit to be repented. See? No, no, she, she bring, they've been bringing forth fruits, you know what I mean, that need to be repented for because they can only produce what's in them. Which means what? They sin them. They, they, they unsaved. Not all of them. It's just that the one that is in high places. And God said what? He said those, he said evil wickedness, what is in high places? It's a system there. They're created by the spirit of the devil. And when they enter their end, they do the works of the devil. They have the mindset of the devil. Subliminally, normally, or whatever. It's not of God. Can y'all understand this right here? That's why we see what we see. We're going through what we haven't gone through anything yet. We, we, we haven't gone through anything. See? But I'm telling my brothers and sisters, there's one way out. The only way out. Give your life to God. And think about heavenly things. Think about where you're going to spend eternity. You never experience eternity. You see what I'm saying? 
Now you have spurred something like a, a, a foreshadow. Because when I was a kid, I used to get up and, and, and go to bed and get up and go to bed just like I was supposed to see what the next day. You see? Get up, go to bed, get up and go to bed. You see what I'm saying? Like I was supposed to see the next day. So I want to thank God for you being able to listen today. I thank God. And uh, I just want you to, to uh, consider. Consider. Hold on a minute.